Play along with the following show at gsn.com. Game Show Interactive. It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Ashenbrenner family. And Bob, Kay, Dave, and Ginger, ready for action. And the Thompson family. Ed, Inez, Diane, Lois, and Bill. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Lovely. That nice, warm holiday spirit. That and the applause signs. I get an ovation. I thank you. Will you welcome, please, the winning family, the Ashton Brothers? How are you, darling? Thank you. Your name is Anne, isn't All right. it? Right. I don't see your name. Oh, I must have dropped. Well, I'll remember it's Anne. Okay. Luckily, I did. You've won my love one thousand one hundred and fifty-nine dollars. You'll be able to buy a nameplate and tell me who you've got with you here. I have my husband, Bob, my daughter, Kay, and her husband, Dave, and my daughter-in-law, Ginger. Okay. You look gorgeous. So pretty oh, here. You. you made a change. How nice. You excited to be here? Very much so. Good. Bob, how you doing? Just fine. Is Richard, all right? It's a little better today. He has a little laryngitis. My son has that. He went to the doctors the other day. He said, is the doctor in? The nurse said, no, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little laryngitis joke. How you doing, Kay? Hi. Here's the bright lady got up there. She has a little baby, Christy. Mm -hmm. Nine months old. Yes. Gonna have any more babies? Eventually. It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> How are you, Dave? Good, thank you. Here's the gentleman who shares the fun. How long have you been married? About uh, three years now. About? It's not an approximate thing. How long have you been married? I think what it's was about the date? <laughs> February 2nd. Is he right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I won't even ask the year. Ginger, how are I you? Did. Tell me a little about you, Ginger. Oh, I'm married and I have two children. And my they... oldest one is Sean and my youngest one is Shannon. Oh, they're yeah. nice little names. Oh, yes. Ginger's a cute name. Here's a cute name. They're going to try and dethrone you. They're called the Thompson family. How you doing, Ed? Nice to see you. Welcome. Who have you got with you today? I brought my wife, Inez, my daughter, Diane, my sister-in-law, Lois, and my son-in-law, Bill. And what do you do, Ed? I'm a banker with United California Bank, and as you know, we have the prettiest and best tellers in town. Yeah, but they all yeah. tell, don't yeah, they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in that business? Oh, 35, 40 years. Yeah? Since I was 12 years old. <laughs> no, of course, just a child, really. just a child. <laughs> How are Hi, you, my sweetie. love? Mm. Oh, sweetie pie. That. <laughs> nice. How long have you been married? 34 years. 34 Isn't years. something? He was in the banking business at the time, right. a rascal. Right, just a baby. Now, this is your daughter? Yes, little Diane. Little Diane, how are you? I'm just fine. Tell me a little about you. <laughs> oh, I'm a wife and a mother of a brand new baby girl, and I take karate lessons in my spare time. God, <laughs> you should have told me that before I kissed you. Oh. Lois, how are you? Mm. I'm great, Richard. You just look How gorgeous. You? Great color for her. Oh, Green, isn't it? Thank you. Don't you think so? Tune oh. your sets, everybody. It's really orange. Oh, Tell me a little about Lois. Uh, I'm married, and I'm going to have my first grandchild in February. Ah. I have two sons. One's married, and one isn't. Tell them to get a move on. <laughs> Bill, how you doing? Fine, Richard. What do you do, Bill? I was hoping you'd ask. I'm in the life insurance <laughs> business. Are you really? <laughs> I might take some out if I kiss Diane again. All right, I wish both families the best of luck. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, little guy. We're going to play the face-off. We surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. The object is to try and find the most popular answer. Here is the question. Name a country that begins with the letter P. And Portugal. Portugal. Show us Portugal. There it is. 13 people said it. Ed, two countries even more popular. Country begins with the letter P. Poland. Poland? How many said Poland? Oh, four people. You're going to play? You're going to pass. Play, play. We're going to play. They're going to play, lovely Anne. Rejoin your family. And Nez, name a country, please, that begins with the letter P. Peru. Peru. That's a nice country, too. Show us Peru. 32 out of 100 people said it. 
Eighty-five dollars. You're doing them, Diane. Panama. Panama. That's right. Hayakawa said about the canal. We stole it fair and square. We should keep it. Show us Panama. There it is. Lois, the country that begins with the letter P. Three answers remain. Uh, Pumanju. Of course. <laughs> Pumanju. <laughs> Amazing. I thought that would have made it. That's your first strike. Two more strikes, you lose control of the question. The Asham will have a chance to steal. Bill, I need a country that begins with the letter P. Paraguay. Paraguay. Show us Paraguay. There it is. Well done. Add two answers remaining. You have one strike on your name, a country that begins with the letter P. $92 in the bank. Three seconds. Pass. Pass. No, pass. It's a small country outside of Pumanju. <laughs> That's your second strike. Inez. All I can think of is Prussia. There's <laughs> Prussia. Prussia. We'll take a look. Show us Prussia. Uh, you can do Pakistan. it now. Talk Pakistan. it over. Pakistan. 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 What do you say, lovely Anne? Pakistan. Pakistan. If Pakistan is there, you're going to steal the money, and the strategy of the Thompsons will have failed because they decided to play, and they got struck out. If it's not there, however. They get to keep it. Show us Pakistan! Well done. Well done. Show us number four. Hello. Philippines. My goodness. Now they're on the board, and the first family to get $200 wins the game and plays for $5,000. So you've got to get on the board. We've got to do this, and then we will return. So rich, so creamy. It's the filler you love, only whip. Mm. And as always, 40% less saturated fat than butter. When it's filling, it's heaven. Pregnancy. It's a beautiful thing. It can also leave ugly stretch marks. Anyone can get them, but you can help prevent them. Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula, Massage Cream, and Massage Lotion for Stretch Marks blend four key ingredients to increase skin elasticity, helping prevent and reduce the appearance of stretch marks. So your pregnancy is as beautiful as can be. Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula for Stretch Marks, dermatologically tested. What does everyone want for breakfast? Happy Benjamin! Honey bunches of oats with strawberries. It's anything but ordinary. I'm Father Time. Really? And I like things that last a really long time. 2,000 flushes cleans up to four months. Others last up to five weeks. That's why it's 2,000 flushes. For my throne, 2,000 flushes. We measure in months, not weeks. A farmer. A tailor. An artist. An exotic dancer? Who wants to be governor of California? The debating game premiering October 1st at 9 p.m. on Game Show Network. Oh, well, they have $92. You have $92, and the Thompsons have nothing. Inez, come on up here. Come on, Bob. Play the face off. You're really doing well here. Now, we surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board to this question. Name something that runs that isn't alive. Bob. Car. A car? Show us a car. That's the most popular answer. What are you going to do? Play or pass? Talk it over. Play. You want to play? Play. Play. Okay. Play. Okay, play. Okay, play. Come here. <laughs> well, I mean, otherwise, we're still like two idiots. You're going to play? We're going to play. You're going to play. <laughs> Welcome to Whispering Jack Smith Hour. <laughs> Have you heard the news? <laughs> Name something that runs that isn't alive. Airplane? An airplane? Show us an airplane! <laughs> Not there. That's your first strike. Four answers remain. Dave. An engine. Gotta speak up. Engine. Not an, an engine. engine. You said an right. engine. <laughs> engine. Show us an engine! <laughs> It's your second strike. Ginger. Okay, a refrigerator. A refrigerator. Right. That yes. runs, doesn't yes, it? Yes. All right, well, take a look. If it's there, 
Everything's okay. If not, it's your third strike. A refrigerator. <laughs> right now, you can river. get in this oh, game. River. Talk it over. A river. Motorcycle. 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 Motorcycle
Oh, it's the old maletta. <laughs> Show us the mallet. Yeah! 99 people said it was $182. Bill. The ball. The ball. Okay. Show us a ball. Six people said it, $194 right now. One answer remaining, you have no strikes at all. Ed, name something a polo player uses. Helmet. A helmet. Yes. If helmet is there, you're really gonna be in this game. Show us a helmet. Hey! That's called a clean sweep. Well, we really have a game going. We'll be back right after this. Take National Lampoon, put it together with Game Show Network, and what do you get? You get something up your butt. National Lampoon's Funny Money, tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Mr. Goodwrench, I will find you. L let me get this straight. He does brake work. Yep. Diagnostics. Yep. Wheel alignments. Yep. Root canal. Yep. Gotcha. And he replaced your tires. Sure did. Oh, that's good, Mellon. So he diagnosed your truck with some sort of high-tech GM gizmo. Yes. And you got a good look at him? Find Mr. Goodwrench at over 7,000 GM dealerships nationwide. Do I smell pancakes? Honey! What is the power of red? It's eating pizza. The whole pizza. Or fire grilled chicken. And still feeling good about yourself. Smart ones. The power of red. Barbie stars in an enchanting new movie as the girl who turns into a swan. Barbie of Swan Lake. A friend once told me, you're braver than you think. A magical story to watch again and again. Coming soon to DVD and video from Artisan's Family Home Entertainment. Well, the Thompsons made a comeback. 198. 131 there for the Ashton Brenners. Dave, come on. Lois, let's do it. This question will decide the winning family. Dollar values are doubled. Surveyed 100 people. The top three answers are on the board. Listen carefully. Name a physical characteristic of Santa Claus. Lois. Whiskers. Whiskers? Show us whiskers. There it is. 42 people said it, $84. One answer even more popular, Dave. Uh, red nose. A red nose. Show us a red nose. There it is. You control it. You're going to play? You're going to play? Play, play. They're going to play, Dave. We'll see if their strategy works. Come back here, Lois. I need a physical characteristic of Santa Claus. Bill. Fat. Fat. If fat is there, it's a clean sweep. You're the new winning family. Show us fat. <laughs> wow, they made a comeback, didn't they? You have one thousand one hundred and fifty-nine dollars. We had a, just a great time meeting y'all. I want all of you to be happy, right? Have nice holidays and give me a kiss. Mm. Thank you. Be happy. Bob, nice to see you. You okay? Miss Christy for me, right? You be nice to her. All right, did you? Say hello to your two babies. Let's hear from my pals here. Bye. Who will play Fast Money? Bill and I. Come on out here. Now, who's going to go first? I'll because go first. first is easier. I'll go first. All right, Bill, go over there. I'll stand here with Uncle Ed, the banker, and we will take a commercial. Come back and see if we get $5,000. Yeah. A farmer. A tailor. A sitcom star. Trust me, it's completely legal. Who wants to be governor of California? The debating game premiering October 1st at 9 p.m. on Game Show Network.
Suarez, I have some good news. I'm taking you out. I thought you said you had good news. I do. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. Give me the ball. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. There's only one orange clean with a fresh orange scent. It's the original way to put the power of the real Valencia orange oil to work. Call now for a free sample and get a coupon good for 75 cents off any orange clean product. We've harnessed the grease cutting power of the real Valencia orange oil and in many cleaning forms handle tough cleaning jobs. All with a fresh scent of peeled oranges. Call now to get your free sample and money saving coupon. Survey says there's more feud on the way. Ray Combs hosts Family Feud next. Then take a trip to the Winner's Circle on the $100,000 Pyramid, followed by Match Game. We're ready here now. I want you to stand there, Ed. Yeah. Now, there's sort of the uh, Christmas holidays. You get a lot of people come in for loans in your bank? Quite a few. Well, do you give loans out? Are you responsible for My that? My sole duty is to give is out money. Is it really? Well, this is the sort of guy I'd like to meet, wouldn't you? He looks friendly. <laughs> Yeah, but what, what would be a reason for turning someone down who really needed a loan? Um, be careful how you answer, because our writers are listening. If they work for a TV studio. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> if they were actors, that's the truth. No, that's, that's a, not so. Not yeah, so. come on. Actors are the no. worst risk in the world. Actors no. come here, try and get a telephone put in. They want about $400 deposit. They think we're going to run away. I can't understand that. No? All right. I have a feeling yours is a nice bank. <laughs> I want you to have some money so you can put it in the bank there and do well. I'll tell you how we do it. By the way, how are you related to young Bill, who's now locked up and cannot hear a word? I'm his father-in-law. He you... married my youngest daughter. Did he? Well, he showed good discretion oh. there, and we'll see if he does well when we come out. Hand-picked. I'm going to ask you five questions, all right? <laughs> is it just a loan, or no, you <laughs> hand-picked it? <laughs> permanent, permanent. <laughs> You gotta give me five answers, Ed, in 15 seconds, all righty? Right. You uh, just wanna try and think of the most popular answer that you can, that you think the general average person will give, because that gets you points. And if you and Bill, your hand-picked son-in-law, if they can get 200 points, we will be delighted to give the Thompson family $5,000. All right? Yeah. They That's want great. you to have it, too. So here we go. Give me 15 seconds on the clock, please. Time's going to start when I finish reading the first question, and good luck. Name a popular female singer. Diana Short. The height of an average man. Five foot nine and a half. Something children love to ride on. Merry-go-round. Something you write on a check. Uh, amount of money. Another word for big. Large. That's five. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that you're a banker and we had a check question. Turn around here. We're going to see how well you did. All right. I said, name a popular female singer. And you said a lady that I'm absolutely in love with. You said, Miss Dinah Shore. Our survey said... Well, I'm in shock. Wow. I'm in shock. That means at least two people would have had to say Dinah Shore. If they'd called you and me, we would have answered that. But they didn't. Zero. And we wanted the height of the average man. And you said... Five foot nine and a half. Our survey said 12. Okay. That's better than zero. Something children love to ride on, we asked. You said merry-go-round. Our survey said 33. That's better. You have 45. Something you write on a check. You said the amount of money. Right. Our survey said 28. You're making a comeback here. Wanted another word for big. You said large. And our survey said... Yeah! Oh, won. oh, what a way to go. Clear that board, please. 
You're a cliffhanger. You love to do that. You did it in this game. Come back of the year. Go on there and I'll tell Bill. Come on, Bill. Boy, what a father-in-law you got there. All the drama. Should have been an actor. All you need is 76 points and you will have $5,000 to share, okay? Better not blow it this time. You better not. He handpicked you as a son-in-law. I'm going to ask you the same questions that I asked Ed. You cannot duplicate his answers. If you do, you hear this sound. Oh, it's so rotten, I'd like to hear it again. You'll hear this sound. We're cutting an album. <clears throat> if you hear that sound, I'll say, try again, and you give me another answer, all right? Now, we're going to remind everyone at home all of the answers that Ed gave us. Why don't you step in just a little bit? You only need 76 points. It's nothing. He's done all the hard work. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Just relax. The time will start when I finish reading the very first question. Name a popular female singer. Aretha Franklin. The height of the average man. 5'10". Something children love to ride on. Bicycles. Something you write on a check. Money. Try again. Numbers. Try again. Pass. Oh. I hope there's not a divorce in the offing. Turn around. Ah. You only needed 76 points. Ed's not looking at us. Look, he's... You probably don't remember us. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. I asked you the name of a popular female singer. You said a great singer. You said Aretha. Aretha Franklin. And our survey said... Nine. 67 points away. Olivia Newton-John and Barbara Streisand were tied for top there. And I wanted the height of the average man. You said... 5'10". Our survey said... 20. Our survey... Number one answer was six feet tall. Makes me kind of small, but there you are. It is now 47 points away from the big money, something that children love to ride on. You said a bicycle. And our survey said 13. A horse was the number one answer. You're 34 points away, but we've got two answers that you didn't uh, get to. Name something that you write on a check. You never got to it because you kept saying money and the amount. The name or signature was the number one. You got nothing for that. And the other one you didn't get to, another word for big. The number one answer was large. Ed gave us it, so you didn't make the 200. But you got 166 points, $5 for every point for a total of $830. Okay. Get in touch with Game Show Network. Log on to our website and play our games or email us your questions and comments. It's www.gameshownetwork.com. Game Show Network. Thank you. So you never, you never sign your name to a check. Is that right, Bill? Occasionally. Well, that's how you keep solvent. You're going to meet another family. You'll do that the next time we got together. You got $1,228. That's okay. Be nice to each other. We'll see you here the next time on The Family Feud. Peace. Cram muscle gram, he give you one exam. What you feeling so tiry and that icy is so idle and you're cramming. Uh, 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 uh. This stuff you implant and you run and you run, but you're weary and you can't and the icy make you pants and you're cramming. Uh, 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 uh. Pick we give you facts, but you can't react because your brain's so relaxed and the icy she attracts and you're cramming. Cram every night at 10 30 only on Game Show Network, Mon. Jamaica me crazy. In a time of uncertainty, laughter, money, and dreams have all but vanished. But there's one place where all our dreams do come true. National Lampoon's Funny Money. Every night at 10 only on Game Show Network. Because the children depend on us.